Hey guys, so I am so excited. Today I'm going to talk about, you guys have been waiting for this for so long, Everlasting Glimmer Veil. I have so many colors, it's hard to hold them all up. Nine shades total. And before I show you swatches and all that good stuff, I figured it would be cool to show you why I designed this formula. I wanted to create something that of course was metallic and makes your lips look like a giant Christmas present, but I also wanted to make something that was comfortable and true long wear, because I think a lot of brands say they are, but then you know after like two hours you either get like a crumbly mess and you have to reapply or just start from scratch. Right now I'm wearing one of my Everlasting Liquid Lipstick shades in Echo. It's one of my personal favorites. And I wanted to show you what it looks like when you layer just one coat of the Everlasting Glimmer Veil. The cool thing about this is that you can wear it by itself, one coat and give yourself a metallic finish, two coats and make it look like a more opaque glitter glimmer, or you can mix it and wear it over existing shades. And so since I am wearing a really deep dark blue, I thought that pairing it with Reverb, which is the deepest blue in the Glimmer Veil collection, would be really nice as almost like a highlight on crack. So here we go. Awesome, so that took me about two seconds and obviously you can see such a huge impact that this formula gives you and that's just with pretty much half of a coat. What I do love about the component itself is that unlike the Everlasting liquid lipstick applicator, this one ha has a curve that's built into it. A lot of times when you have like a flat applicator, you notice that like a lot of the product gets pushed to the sides and then you get like build up with this. It just doesn't happen and it's just so amazing. So without further ado, I will show you swatches. I've already swatched them on my beautiful arm model. Woo! Look at that, oh my God. I'll walk you through the shades. This first shade right here, and yes, excuse my nail job, okay? Like, I am so fucking busy, I haven't had time for a manicure, don't hate me. This lighter, brighter blue is called Satellite, and like I showed you already, the shade that I put over my existing lipstick was this color here called Reverb. This amazing, bouncy purple grape, I've named it Televator. This magenta here, I've named Razzle. And then this pink I've named Shockful, which is kind of paying homage to my really good friend, Tony, who uh, one day he said that word in front of me and I was like, that's not a real word. And I've loved it ever since. And so I think it deserves an amazing shade to go along with it. This kind of like berry based red, I've named Dazzle. And this one here I've named Rocker, which is almost like a burnt blood red with like a beautiful copper gold shimmer to it. And then this one here, it's Thunderstruck, which pays homage to uh, one of our favorite eyeshadows from our Metal Crush collection. And then this is my Everlasting Glimmer Veil Black, and I've named it Wizard. So I thought the next cool thing to show you would be what some of these really neat color combinations could be. So I've already swatched my beautiful arm model. This lovely shade here is Crucifix, and I thought it would be really cool to show you what it would look like if you paired it with Thunderstruck. I mean, come on. It totally transforms. And I mean, you can also imagine what this would look like over reds or weird pop colors like green or purple. I mean, it would really just transform it and make it into something more, um, I don't know, like it's your birthday every day. So next, this shade here is called Dreamer. And I thought it would be really cool to pair that one with a color that you normally probably wouldn't pair with a seafoam neon green. I picked Shockful for that one. And again, I'm only gonna do one coat. You can add more coats and have different effects. And you can also mix the different shades of Glimmer Veil and create pretty awesome ombres. Ooh, so cool. Obviously I'm coloring outside the lines, but that is just so amazing. So of course this is an absolutely different formula than the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, so your playtime is gonna be a little bit shorter. You do have room to play if you want to mix and stuff, but it's not as big of a window as it is with Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, so just be aware of that. Up next, I've put Backstage Bambi, which is one of my all-time favorite neon pinks. I figured putting the purple shade, which I've named Televator, over that one just to see what happens. Let's find out. Now I'm just gonna put two coats on this one just for fun because we haven't done that yet, but you can really see the intensity. 
you still see that nice pink opaqueness behind it, but it does give you a, a totally different sense than you know what a typical long wear matte opaque lipstick would give you. Last but not least, I think this is gonna be my ultimate favorite color combo, to be honest. I have put Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in a Go-Go, -Go, which is, again, my all-time favorite neon orange, and I'm going to pair it with Rocker, which is that awesome, like, reddish copper. Ooh! That's so nice. And, and it still has kind of like a stain base. So I do recommend either wearing a primer or layering it over a lipstick, unless you're, you're okay with, you know, doing a little bit of a exfoliation at the end of the night. Thank you guys so much for being so patient with me. I know it's taken me a long time to get this formula out to you. And a big part of that was that it just wasn't perfect. And until something is absolutely perfect, I really don't want to put it out into the world. I'm pretty certain that it'll be worth the wait. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. But there's so many different ways that you can use this formula. And I know you guys are going to teach me a few of them. But before I go, I just want to say we should give a round of applause to our lovely hand model, our model. And it's Lipstick Kitty. Ah! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much. And, and then you're wearing rocker on your lips, right? Yes, on top of exorcism. Rocker on top of exorcism, for example, looks totally different than it does over a go-go. So um, the options are endless. And anyways, thank you so much for being my lovely hand model. Anytime. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>